So I had these um, trees growing. I planted seeds, different seeds, and they've been growing, but they've not been producing all summer. So most of them I needed the pot. I said they're not gonna produce anything because guess what? I thought these were some purple um, okra. I thought these were some purple okra. I bought an eBay. And look here. Look at, look closer. Do you have any idea what this is? And I have about five or six of these around the yard. I actually take this one here. I took it out of the pot. And I throw it in this thing with some color I have here. Which has something eating up all the color look. I just take it out of the pot and throw it down in here. But it kept growing. And now look at this. And there's more. Come with this me. is another one. I throw down on the side of the house here. I just took it out of the pot because I needed a pot. I recycle my pots and if it's not doing what it's supposed to do, it can't take up my pot real estate business here, right? So, I took it out. This one don't have much buds yet, but now I'm kind of trying to fix them because I realized that these are the precious sorrel I got from seeds from Miss Joyce. Can you imagine? I didn't realize all along. So it's now two months down the line. I did this other part that I did in August and now it's October. So here's an update on this. Well, tomorrow it's gonna get cold. It's gonna be in the 40s. I don't know what temperature sorrel can take, which, you know, they're warm. They're from um, tropical climates. I mean, they grow in tropical climates. So I don't know how much long they'll stay like this. And the next few nights are gonna be very cold. So I'm picking the big ones off the tree and I'll see what happens afterward. I know most of these, as you can see, they're so small. They're not gonna um, survive the cold, so anything maybe in the 30s so far they've been okay it's in the 50s some nights but the next few nights is gonna be cold so let's see what i can get out of the the sorry i have about four four trees the one is there over there another one down there and two over so which are the bigger ones this is quite big and these are all in pots not all but they most they were all in pots but when they, these things weren't bearing I picked them really pretty isn't it dark so seeds are inside here um, they come out with these pretty flowers every day you see um, some pretty flowers I don't see any today on this one but some of the others have flowers there's some flowers on this one it's just coming out. It's like maybe 11 o'clock in the morning. These are just coming out. And it's spread so wide. This, this spread out so wide, you know. It takes up a good space. And this is in a pot. As you can see down there. A green pot. Can you see the, you see the pot? Yeah, there it is. It's in that uh, five-gallon bucket. And it is it has spread out. I love to see the blossoms. This is actually the prettiest tree in the yard, you know. And to think that it actually has um, something to eat on it, something edible, you know. Really nice. So I'm picking off all the bigger ones. Picked some last night. And I'm gonna pick whatever big ones I can find. That looks like they're ready and some of them are falling off I don't know why they just fall off but I can't afford to spear any I'm gonna wash it and it's gonna be boiled so I'm picking up anyone that falls off I guess because of the change of weather or something I don't know and some of seeds and some don't
So once they floor, the floor goes down like this one. And then, so sometimes I come out here, I just pick the floor. Especially because it's so late in the year and I want them to, to be fit. So you can see down inside of it. There's not a big seed yet, but after this, the seed will will come up if it has time. And then it will have seed like this one, like these. You can see seeds down in there. Let's just open it up a little bit. See? Has seed. So I'm going to put the seeds to dry. Hopefully, they'll be viable. Yeah. Trying to speed the process up, you know, <laughs> to get them to, um, to get them ready for, for Thanksgiving, Christmas, to make sorry wine. He says sorry wine. It's really not a wine. I'll show you what I get when I'm done. How much? Okay. So this is the second picking that I picked the other night and um, I shelled everything out. I did uh, pick a first set but I made tea with it. So I'm picking them a um, little at a time, you know, as soon as they're ready so that as when I see a few ready, I, I pick them and put them in a bag in the fridge. So I'm going to hopefully have them for Thanksgiving. So I can say I made, I, I grew my own sorrel and I'm gonna have it for Thanksgiving this year instead of having to buy. See, they're really pretty. Nice when you can grow your own stuff. And if I have good seeds out of these, um, and a few of you want, I'll send it to you, let me know. put the seeds to dry so some of them are small I don't think they're gonna be viable but some are quite large so we'll see I'll see what I get out of it and I'll let you know in case you're interested <laughs> Lots and lots of rabbits all over. 